All right, grade four trumpets, we're on to lesson two. This is a review. We're going to talk a little bit about the buzz and just remembering that the corners of our mouth are nice and tight. Our chin is flat. We're thinking of that word, ooh, keeping everything nice and firm. Get those lips together, curling that bottom lip in to make that buzzing sound. If you're still having trouble, you can work without the mouthpiece. But it's important that you get that buzz going because that's going to make your trumpet work. Now, we did this in class, but again, we're going to review. So remembering that with the trumpet, these are called valves. These are the valve cases. So with our left hand, we are grabbing around the valve cases. Our thumb goes in the thumb hook. Our pinky goes in the pinky ring. It's hard to see. And then our fingers are covering one, two, three. Our thumbs meet up in the back. If you don't have a pinky ring, then your pinky can just hang out. Some of the trumpets don't because some of them are older than others. Okay, so we've got our hold. Remember when we put our mouthpiece in, we are not banging it. That can get it stuck. It sounds cool and everybody wants to do it, but it can get it stuck and that's what we don't want. So when we're putting our mouthpiece in, we're just putting it in and giving it a twist. So that is our review. And remember our first sound that we're working on is the note C. Remember we talked about if you buzz too fast, you're going to get a high sound. If you buzz too slow, you're going to get a low sound. So if your sound is really high, you're buzzing too fast. If your sound is down here, then you're buzzing too slow and your lips are getting further apart. We want to keep those lips together. This is the sound. Remember, I always say in class, listen first. Remember, you always play with two hands. I'm playing with one hand because I'm using this hand to show you different things. So the sound you're working on, the very first note we're working on on trumpet is C. Listen to it, play it, and then maybe listen to me, and then play together with me. Now, when you're playing, if this is happening, it's okay because that's your muscle and your, we call it the embouchure, trying to figure out what it needs to do. The more you practice it, the muscles will learn where to go. And you'll have what we call muscle memory. So you're working on that C. Our next lesson is going to do a little bit of a pattern with C. So if you feel like you're at home and you're getting C pretty good and it sounds like mine, maybe you go on to the next lesson and take a look. All right, practice makes progress. I'll see you in class.